just want to give an extra special shout out to two people I work with. They work in the lab and one especially always goes, why do you never ever give us a shout out? Why are you not giving us a shout out? Well, this is the perfect video guys because you two are a pair of faggots. <laughs> Hello fellow foodies, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Welcome back to another food review. Now, we've got something from Iceland which costs 80p. They've been around since 1925, and yeah, it's faggots. <gasps> Mr. Brains Pork Faggots. Now, I've never had these faggots before. I don't even know what they consist of, what's in them, I have no idea. I've seen them in Iceland for 80p, and yeah, you know what, I thought fuck it. Let's just give it a try. Now, these can either go into the oven for around about 40 to 45 minutes, or I can bang them in the microwave. I don't realistically have 45 minutes to wait for two faggots, so we're gonna put them in the microwave, and Bob's your uncle. We're gonna try these faggots for the very first time. Let them burn, let them burn it out. Welcome back to the video ladies and gentlemen, our pork faggots are out the microwave after 7 minutes, they look a little bit weird, I mean it just looks like sort of meatballs and some sort of gravy, now I'm eager to get to the table and try these out, um, yeah, presentation wise they don't look actually that great, but for ATP, I wonder what is in store. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the video. The cooking process is over and we have our faggots here. In this sort of sauce, it's uh, what sort of sauce? A West Country sauce. Now looking at that, it looks like a, a gravy. It looks like a couple of turds in a microwavable dish. But never mind, we're gonna try it anyway. Um, I'm, I didn't really have great hopes for this. It's ATP. Uh, but however, I'm nonetheless, I'm quite intrigued to try it and see what it's actually like. Um, before we get into the eating, we're going to give you guys a little description. 192 calories, 11 grams of protein per, well, per portion. This is like two, so this is the portion for two faggots. Um, yeah, I'll give you guys a little description. Here it is, off the book. A traditional butcher from Bristol started making delicious, heartwarming family meals in 1925. I bet he did. His classic pork faggot recipe and unique West Country sauce soon became a firm family favourite across the land. Today, the same passion and love goes into creating each hearty dish, making Mr. Brain's traditional recipe the nation's favourite faggots. Well, I'm not sure if this is going to be the nation's favourite faggots with me. It looks pretty, um, well... It doesn't look very appetising, put it that way. I'm absolutely sweating. I just uh, dropped off my best mates off to Boardmasters. It's like a festival they have in Cornwall every single year. I've got work tomorrow, so unfortunately I cannot go. Plus I didn't book it off or buy a ticket. Maybe next year. I was actually, I looked at it for the first time. I was like, shit, that's an incredible festival. Incredible looking festival. Right, guys, we're here for the review. So let's get into the faggots. All right, so I've got a little bit of faggot. And I've got a little bit of West Country sauce on my fork. Steam is still pouring out. Um, but just, it's just dropping everywhere. Let's waste no time and let's get into the tasting. Here we go. We've got some rehydrated pork in there. We've got some pork rind. I can't really see much meat. Pork lard. Literally just 62% West Country sauce. That doesn't really help me at all. It sort of tastes like, like stuffing balls. Um, I don't know if there's actually animal heart in here or something. Is there? It's sort of like got a really weird like stuffing texture in the middle. It's a little bit firmer on the outside. But there's no texture really in the middle. It's quite squidgy and mushy. It sort of tastes like gravy with stuffing balls. 
I'm not really sure what you're supposed to have it with. Maybe I'll like have it like with peas and mash or something, potato. To be honest, it's really, really bland in the middle. There's not a lot of flavour. It's not a lot. It needs like a bit of pepper or a bit of salt or something like that. So this is the sec this is first half of the second faggot. And yeah, that West Country sauce is definitely like gravy. I don't care what you say, that is gravy. No, I just said starting making hearty, heartwarming family meals. There's no actual heart in it. Well, I mean, you could probably get away with heart being in here. It's a really weird taste. Sort of feels like stuffing, but really weird. I can't get over how bland it is in the middle of the actual faggot. It's sort of just like processed meat and like a load of weird shit put together. Right, this is the final bite. Thank God for that. Done. I mean, the sauce is actually really nice. It's like, it's basically a gravy. I don't mind that, I think it's really tasty. But the actual faggots themselves are like really mushy on the inside. Slightly firm on the outside. It tastes like stuffing, but you can almost imagine it being like flavourless. It's really, really weird sensation. I'm not a really a fan of it. I just don't know. I, my my I just my taste buds don't really agree with it. And yeah, this is what the packaging looks like. If you ever want to go try them, Mr. Brains, they've been out around for ages. Um, in the comments down below, tell me what you would have with this. I'm gonna say like mashed potato and peas or something. But it's very, very strange, and I can't quite get my head around it. Thanks a lot for watching this review, guys. If I could give this one a rating, it's a really weird. Um, gravy was great. I'm going to give this a 3 out of 10. It's probably not the best thing I've ever eaten in my life, and it's really, really weird. Um, faggots are not going to be eaten again by me, put it that way. Thank you so much for watching the review, like I said. I um, appreciate all your support. Hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button. Show the channel some love. I'm back to work tomorrow. I'm in the hell hole. So, yeah. Um, no videos for four days. I might be able to get a short up. I'm not really sure. But, I mean, I will definitely be back in four days for more food reviews. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. And I can't wait for next week as well. Because we're doing some more of the pizza combinations. I love pizza. More combinations. Let's bring it on. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys in four days. <laughs>